Welcome to another episode of Rad Race Parts. My name's Kyle Voss, and today I got something, something pretty cool for you. This episode of the Fab Forums is brought to you by Kill Fab Clothing Company. Find killer clothing over at killfab.com. So working on the Bibster, um, because it's kind of a modern hot rod theme, I wanted to bring a lot of modern features into that thing, kind of mixed with some old school styling. Kind of try to integrate the two the best I possibly could. And um, one of those things was trying to determine whether I was gonna go with a traditional gauge setup or go with a total digital dash. On the surface, you're like, it's a pretty easy decision, right? Go digital dash. The problem was that they're not cheap and a lot of them on the market I didn't really like. I mean, they were, you know, solid color, like a solid green. There was no real functionality. I mean, it's great for racing. Those ones are great for racing, but they didn't have any customizability Cust custom ability, custom customization ability. You couldn't really change anything on the screen. You're kind of stuck with what they gave you. Uh, some of those won't work on all, all the different uh, ECUs, um, although they probably would work with the uh, MS3 Pro that I've got, but I kind of wanted to look around and see what else was out there. So that's basically how I found this, uh, this company right here. This is Powertune Digital. This is a heads up display they make. And this display is made to kind of work with everything. I mean, it kind of makes sense. If you're gonna have a business making a heads up display, you wanna kind of make that integrate with anything that's out there. And when I say anything, I'm not just talking about uh, standalone ECUs. I'm talking about, you could basically plug this into your, you know, 07 Chevy truck. So most setups, you're just gonna use the CAN bus setup for this thing, but it also has other features, other ways you can kind of tie this into whatever ECU you're using uh, along with a lot of the current standalone ECUs. I think pretty much everything nowadays supports CAN bus. So anyway, so this is a cool little unit. This, uh, this company is actually out of Australia. I found them um, and we're gonna fire it up in a minute so you can kind of look at it. Great little setup. Now, I kind of posted some stuff online about this deal. Um, I had a couple people mention that it may be run off a Raspberry Pi. Uh, I don't know that much about these, but that may be the case. So it's basically got a little computer in here, which probably allows it to do all the things that this thing can do. So uh, right after I fired it up, I realized that you can attach this to your Wi-Fi. So I had to attach the Wi-Fi in the shop. You can either use that to update the software in this thing, or you could use it to kind of load some of the backgrounds and stuff that you can use on this. Like I said, totally customizable. Um, you got all kinds of options. And so that's one way you can do it. It also has a ether port on it, some USB jacks. You can actually plug a keyboard and mouse into this thing uh, to make it easier to kind of navigate, but it is all touch screen as well. So yeah, if you can see that, so. Nice little unit. I have the mounting bracket on it now. I probably won't use this. I think I'm gonna build my own little dash piece this thing kind of sits in but yeah it does come with a mounting bracket they also have a gps option so you can plug a gps uh, unit into this so i've got the gps antenna so you mount that on the dash somewhere this thing will kind of run down through plug into this and then you can do you know you'll have a speedometer or um, a lap timer or i think there's a drag race feature on here where you can stop. Actually, I know there's a drag race feature on here. You can basically stop and then when you take off, it knows when you move and it'll start counting off uh, 60 foot, 330, 660, you know, quarter mile, all that stuff. So that's cool. I also think I seen something about a chassis dyno set up in here, which wouldn't be that hard to do. You could basically, you know, plug in the weight of the vehicle and then this thing can determine how much power it's putting down based on how fast it can accelerate that much weight. I mean, 
it's just math, people. It's just math. So yeah, cool little device. Touch screen, you can swipe, you can actually do everything you need to do with your finger, or you can use a mouse, like I said. I will probably have some form of USB that plugs into this and kind of routes around and maybe has a plug somewhere else in the bibster. And so I wanted to, I can just pop a little mouse in there, put it on the center console, kind of do my thing, pop it out when you're done and rock and roll. So let's, uh, let's fire it up and you can kind of see some of the colors on this thing. On your initial setup or startup, you get the power team digital. I think this can be changed to whatever you want it to be changed to. And as you can see, I haven't messed with this thing a whole lot. Um, I've watched a couple of the tutorials, kind of seen what you can do with this thing. Um, it is totally customizable and you can see that these screens, you can kind of flip through these. This current one is only set up with two screens, but you can set it up to uh, have up to four dash screens. So different kinds of these screens. And then within each screen itself, you can customize uh, everything within it. So you can change this to, uh, you know, AFRs versus Lambda. You can change the color of the font. You can change this to water temp. You can change that to, to boost. You can change, you can really do whatever you want. You can change the gauges themselves. You can change the colors of the, you know, of the, of the letters within those. Um, you can do a bunch of stuff in each one of these, including design your own. And then you can actually upload it to this thing if you're you know good at graphics and you can kind of design something like this on your own you can upload it you can upload a background to this and um yeah and then everything is all touch like i said so you just double click the screen you can go in here alter colors you can import images you, you know you can do all this stuff and then this is for you know you first double click this is for the main screen and then if you wanted to actually change one of these here you can double click that and so then it's going to give you options here. You can change the font size. You can change what it says. You can change the color, the font. All this stuff is all customizable. So every screen itself. And then the last page uh, actually is the setup menu. So you can go in here and kind of set everything up. Um, you can select your dashes. Like I said, you can have up to four dashes in this uh, unit that you can kind of slide through. Sense hat, worn gear, so you can kind of set up all your warnings. You can set up, um, this has got your gear calculations here, but like you can do uh, a boost warning at 1.2, I guess that's pounds. Um, water temp warning at 120 degrees, revs, knock, all this stuff's gonna be set up. And I'm assuming that once that does that, a warning flashes up or uh, maybe it, it, the actual gauge box itself starts to starts to blink so speed correction analog rpm so you can do all your rpm settings in here max rpm shift light shift light two shift light three shift light four you can kind of have it set up however you want to start up and then your network settings here so like i said i've got mine set up to connect to my internet So anyway, there you go. The digital dash from PowerTune uh, digital display, digital, PowerTune digital. Um, I'll drop a bunch of links in the description. You can go check them out. Their Instagram, their, their um, webpage. Um, there's actually a ton of tutorials and installs on YouTube on this thing as well. So like you could just search PowerTune digital and you can see all kinds of stuff, which is basically how I learned most of what I know. And uh, yeah, and these things are like half the price of everything else out there on the market. Uh, these are around the $500 mark, depending on the options you want, which I think is a great deal for something like this. Anyways, a lot more content is going to come on this. I'm going to kind of make, I'm going to mount this in the bibster and then build a dash around it. So this is going to be like the centerpiece of the whole dash. It's going to start it and I'll start building stuff around it. So that all comes soon. We'll get in there and play with it. And then it'll be interesting to see what, what we can do with it once we start uploading background images and, you know, doing stuff like that, and then getting it plugged into the MS3 Pro. So there you go. Another rad race parts, heads up display, digital dash. If you were looking for one, I found you one. Shipping was actually pretty quick though, even though it came from Australia, I had it in like a week, which is rad. So anyway, as always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more next week.
Go do work, son. Huh?